you guys building these in the barn? Hey. <laughs> Dirty, stupid head. You have power you here already? Pretty heck. You have the right material? Well, I'm surprised you guys have worn two teeth in your head. Can you guys even yep. read? You have to swim in this material? Oh, well, right. All right, gentlemen, we're going to show you the difference today between a moving floor system and a Trout River shuttle floor. So what you're currently looking at is the inside of a moving floor after it's been unloaded. So it's been unloaded, so you can see how much material is left over. So if you guys can picture, what's happening is is the driver gets to the job site and especially if they're hauling wet sticky contaminated material this trailer is now pulled up to a big pile he has to get out open the doors potentially gets a big face full of whatever's inside the trailer and he's already standing in the pile so they're usually getting in and shoveling in the winter time they're chipping at materials and basically what's happening is they're in a confined space having to jump in and out and clean this trailer out for every load. Would you like to see the difference? So again, you got a picture, if it's the middle of winter, if things are slippery, the driver has to climb in and out of every load. Or they can leave the material in and then they run the risk of cross-contamination of the next load. So we come to the Trout River shuttle floor. There's nothing like this in the world today. Open the door. Maybe some water in this tray, eh? Stop. So we're not gonna open the door fully. I'll show you why, because I don't want anybody to get a wet head. Um, but basically, again, the driver comes to the back of the pile. They open the door, and this way the driver's not exposed to the load. And if you look inside here, this is part of how we seal the trailer so it has a tray in here which just catches any of the extra wet material that may be leaking from the trailer and on top of that you have a completely sealed box that we haul that wet sticky material in so if we want to stand back this is obviously a trailer that's used we'll stand back and open the door Glad the wind was going the right way. Just go around that way. Perfect. Who wants in? Okay, let's go. So again, this trailer right here has a belt scraper. So that load is actually scraped and cleaned twice while it's unloading and it's loading to make sure we're reducing the risk of cross-contamination. Unload them. Getting nervous? You getting nervous? Perfect. <laughs> you may want to get out. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Go! <laughs> Y'all gotta get out safe! <laughs> That wasn't safe. <laughs> there we go. So, something I want to point out to you guys, if you see the difference, we started unloading you guys and this trailer at the same time. 
And that's how much has come out of this trailer. So, when we say three minutes from start to finish, at three minutes, it's done unloading. And you're not getting in the back to clean out the leftover material. Ta-da! So, snow, sludge, human waste, agricultural waste, pallets, anything really wet, sticky, uh, material that's bulky, this trailer absolutely loves it and provides a good alternative what's currently on the marketplace today. So gentlemen, how did we do? Great, Great job. job! Awesome.